हेलो चिल्ड्रेन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डन दैट हाउ टू एड द इंटीजर्स नाउ वी आर डूइंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंटीजर वट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंटीजर्स वेर हियर वी टेक बोथ द साइन इट इज एडिशन ऑल्सो एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो सो दैट इट विल बी ईजी फॉर यू टू फाइंड आउट प्रॉपर्टीज बोथ द एरेथमेटिक ऑपरेशन इन सेम फर्स्ट इज क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी वट इज दैट If we take sum of two integers, is always an integer. Now we are going to check it. Or we take the product of two integers, that will be always an integer. So how do we check? Here I have taken a is three and b is five. So what is three plus five? All of you know this. It is eight. Is it? As an integer, a plus b is an integer. Yes, it is a positive integer. Now, a into five is fifteen. Is it an integer? Yes. Now, minus four plus three, both different sign. We will take the difference. Greater one is minus one. Same way, if you multiply, it is minus four into three. Is minus twelve. Minus one is an integer. Yes or no? Yes, it is negative integer. Minus twelve. Yes, it is also integer. So what do we see? Both cases we have got they are an integer. If you add or we multiply two integers, same way. Minus three again we are taking minus four. So it is minus seven. Minus seven is an integer. Yes. Now minus three into minus four is twelve, and that is also a positive integer. So here it is. So we check whether we take both positive, one negative, one positive, or both negative. In every cases, we are getting sum and product is an integer. Second property is commutative property. Commutative property is what? If we add. Or multiply two integers, and we change the order, like three plus two, two plus three, or three into two, two into three. Every suppose here, I have taken some integers. A is minus three, B is five. So what will be A plus B? I am writing here. A plus B is two. B plus A is also two. Is it same? Yes. Now we multiply minus three into five. Five three fifteen and sign negative. Same way five into minus three will be minus fifteen. Both are same. Now again, when I show you minus two plus minus three is minus five. If we add, we change the order like this. Here also minus five. Same. Minus two. Into minus three is six. Same way minus three. If we write this one first, change the order of the integers, then also it is same. So both cases we are getting an integer. Now this is the last one. You can do it easily. I think if when you add my four and minus two, change the order. Find out are they are are they integers? Here also if we multiply. The integers. So you complete this one. This is for you. Third question is for you. Associative property of addition. Same way, just the same as commutative. We have taken two integers. Here we are taking three integers for sum and multiplication. And you see that sum or product remains the same if we change the order. Suppose first one we add. First one we add a a b c three are there so I have written three in int integer you are taking here a plus b we have we know that bracket we solve first so a plus b minus six plus minus three will be minus nine and plus two it is minus seven now here we are adding b plus c minus three and plus two will be Minus one again. What we are getting minus seven. Are they same? Yes. 
same way you take 5 0 and minus 3 and check your answer that are this at same same case if you multiply 3 if we are multiplying minus 6 into minus 3 first and then see check whether you are getting minus 6 and minus 3 will be 18 and 18 into 2 will be 36 okay 36 i am getting is raised an integer now here check a into b into c that means b is what i have taken first example a is here minus 6 and b into c minus 3 into 2 so i am writing in bracket so that you will not do mistake here it is minus 6 now here minus into minus will be plus and 36 oh what i am getting both are same yes so this is associative property now again second one you will do yourself next property is additive identity what is identity means identical which number we are going to add in integer so that result is the same integer of course when you will add 0 you are getting the same number so what does it mean 0 is additive identity but what happens when we take multiplication in multiplication what we will multiply suppose what think yourself that what you will multiply so that it is same 5 your answer is 1 so 1 is called multiplicative identity so here both I am doing in same point additive identity and multiplicative identity so this point is important identical means always you remember that 0 is additive identity because when we add the number is integers comes same or when we multiply with 1 then the answer or the, we get the same integer so 1 is multiplicative identity now fifth point last point is that what is additive inverse which number we are going to add in an integer so that we get the additive identity and what is additive identity zero so five plus minus five just negative of that integer will give us zero that is additive identity so when we have to find out additive inverse we change the sign of number that means if find out additive inverse of 5 we write minus 5 if additive inverse of minus 2 it is plus 2 so we change the sign of number what happens in multiplicative inverse what number we will multiply so that we get multiplicative identity it will be just reciprocal of that number so multiplicative inverse means we take the reciprocal of that number so this way we have done all properties of integer what is that one is additive identity additive inverse associative property when we take three integers then commutative property when we are taking two and we change the order Closer property is first one when we add two integers and the sum remains or product remains same. So this way properties of integers we have done. Now we will apply all these properties of integers to in solving questions.